Okay, the first track that we do is with Salsa. She is a um, multi-talented dog. She does both air scent and tracking. This is going to be a track where she follows exactly where the dog went. The first thing I do is give her the scent with gauze pads in a bag. I like the dog to scent three times. She likes to do it one time and go. She's very impatient. And once she has the scent, she's like, let's go, let's go. So she pulls on the leash. I have to wrap it around my leg so that she doesn't run away with me while I'm trying to put everything back in the pocket. Once I tell her to go find, she gets right to it. She puts her nose down until she finds the, she'll like check around until she finds the exact head of the track. As soon as she finds the track, the nose stays down pretty much the whole way. There, she's got it. She'll go back, she'll go back to it. There she goes. And she'll follow that track right on down. She's distracted a little bit by Christine, who's got the camera. But she will, um, she will continue right on down, following the track exactly where we took the cat. And at the bottom, when she gets to the track, gets to the cat, she will come back to me, jump up, bark, and indicate that she's found what she was looking for. Very excited. And then go back over to the animal. So I can actually wor work her off leash. And she will find the animal and come back and get me. And then take me back to it. She's very good at pinpointing exactly where it is. Um, we found an animal that was... We found a cat that was down between a fence and a bush, and uh, nobody could see it. And Salsa found it and sat there and popped the fence until the cat hissed at her. And that's what told us that she had found the cat. We always reward right at the, the um, test animal, at the, at the uh, subject animal, so that it encourages them to, to have this, you know, interaction with the animal so that she can pinpoint exactly where they are. It can be very quick. The animal, that, the cat that we found up in Redding uh, took her 15 minutes. And that's how quick it can be. I mentioned before about the wind, that the wind was not favorable for her to air scent it. But if we We'll go get Brando. We'll move the cat upwind. We'll go get Brando and see if he can air scent the cat from um, being downwind. Okay. While I'm gone, you move the cat. After she moves okay. the uh, move cat, up that way. Okay. Well, I'm going to swap Good. dogs and bring out my other tracking dog who also does air scent. And he is going to demonstrate a different way of searching, which is by air scent. Air scent means to follow the scent, to pick up the scent on the breeze rather than on the ground. A good versatile tracking dog should be able to do both. So that if they're tracking along and doing a serpentine track, uh, where it's going around and crossing over itself, then they can also, if they pick up the animal on the wind, they can cut the rest of the track and go straight to the subject. This is the air scent track run with Brando. First thing we do is scent the dog. We give them a reward at the location of scenting them. Scenting is giving them something to smell that smells like the animal that we want them to find. So we give them the scent first, and the dogs are usually very enthusiastic about it because they know that after they get the scent, they get a treat. So that's what I'm doing here is giving him the scent and you'll see him, he like pushes his face right into the scent bag 
because he's very, very eager to work. As soon as he sees the scent bag, he gets very excited. He's like, open it up. I need to, need to smell it. Need to smell it. And he pushes his nose right in it and takes a good deep breath. Gets his treat and he instantly wants to start even before I tell him to go find. Now what we're going to do, because we're air scenting instead of tracking, we are going to do a large circle around the area and I need to find out first which way the wind's blowing. So I use a powder bottle, a puff bottle, to check the wind and see which way the wind is blowing in that circle. So that's what I'm doing now is testing the wind and the wind is moving from my left to my right. So we need to cover everything that will be to our left. So we're going to start to the right. And we start our circle and make a nice wide circle. And what we're looking for in the dog is a head turn. The dog will change from being just a, a dog on a walk, just checking and looking for scent. All of a sudden, he'll get really excited. His head will come up right there. His head came up. He's got the scent. And now he will, he will demand that I go with him. He will pull and pull and, and go very fast, literally dragging me down the hill to where he smells the scent coming from. Now, I don't know at this point where she put the cat. All I know is that I told her to put it upwind. And uh, what he did right there, he marked where the previous tracking dog had marked. When we're on a track and he's tracking an animal, he will mark wherever that animal urinates. So now he's, he's gone down the hill. He's almost to the bottom of the hill. The scent is, has been blowing up. He has to work out where the scent is because it's obviously not there. So he's working up a drainage. And what has happened is the scent has been channeled down the drainage. And he's picked it up from quite a ways away. And now he has to work up the drainage to where the actual cat is. This is a very, very interesting puzzle because even though the animal was to our right, he had nothing on the right because the wind was coming from our left. The uh, drainage channeled the scent down and then he worked his way back up. He's got the cat. He's very excited. He does his indication, which is to jump up. He's very excited that he's found the animal and he gets rewarded.